Are you creating overalls and aren't sure how to add buckles to your straps? You're in luck because this video will show you how to install the buckles and buttons to make it adjustable. Let's get started. There are three parts to using this type of fastener. You should have a slide buckle, the overall buckle, and the button with tack. Just a note, I had to buy the slide buckle separate from the overall buckle and button. In addition to your sewing machine and pins, you'll also need a hammer for installing the buttons. Check the package for the recommended width of the finished strap. My package says for one inch straps. Use this information to make your straps accordingly. I'm cutting out my straps two inches wide to account for a half inch hem allowance on each side. The length of your strap can be more flexible because we're making it adjustable and it also depends on your overall pattern. I would make the straps at least 10 inches longer than the exact measurement over your shoulder. You can also cut down the strap if you need to later. First, I'm going to hem on each of the long sides of my straps. On each side, I'll fold a quarter inch and then another quarter inch, making my finished strap width one inch. Pin the hem into place. At your sewing machine, stitch along the bottom edge of the hem using a straight stitch. Don't forget to back stitch at the ends. One end of each strap will get sewn to the top of the back of your overalls. Consult your pattern directions on how to do this. I'll be sewing mine with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and then top stitching. Now it's time to add our fasteners. With the strap right side up, slip on the slide buckle. The strap should go over the center bar. Next, you'll be putting on the overall buckle. The strap should still be right side up, with it going over the center two bars and around to the back. Flip the strap to the wrong side and slip the end under the center bar of the slide buckle. Make sure to pull the fabric past the buckle a few inches to make it easier to work with. Here is what it looks like so far. Try on the overalls, and if you think the strap is too long, cut the strap shorter. Turn the end of the strap under a quarter inch and then another quarter inch to the wrong side and pin. At your sewing machine, sew the end hem with a straight stitch. This hem will prevent the strap from slipping completely out of the slide buckle. Your pattern should have a mark on the overalls for where to add the button. Push the tack from the wrong side to the right side at your button placement mark so it goes through your fabric. Put the button cap on the tack, then flip over to the wrong side. Hit the tack with the hammer to secure the tack inside the button cap. And now your straps have a buckle and button. Don't forget you can adjust the length of your strap and the slide buckle will hold the excess strap in place. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.